From rumored romances to A-list engagements, Pete Davidson has been linked to some pretty high-profile celebs. So we're taking a look at his complete dating history. Let's get into it. Back in 2015, Pete dated actress and stand-up comedian Carly Aquilino, but they called it quits that same year. The pair did seem to end on good terms, however, since they starred together in Pete's film The King of Staten Island afterward in 2020. But in 2018, Carly did share her thoughts on Pete's engagement to Ariana Grande. She posted a screenshot of a message she received the day of the announcement saying, I know I'm the 9 billionth person to text you today about this, but I can't. Adding the caption, my day in a text message. In 2016, Pete dated Larry David's daughter, writer and actress Cassie David. They were together for two years, and at first it seems like things ended on good terms since Pete told Complex's Open Late with Peter Rosenberg, we're not together anymore, and added, very talented girl, she'll be great and she'll be fine. But a couple years later, Cassie shared in her book of essays, titled No One Asked For This, that she found out about Pete and Ariana only a day after he sent a text ending their relationship for good, adding that she shook uncontrollably in her dad Larry David's arms when she got the news. However, Kazzy did give Pete a shout out in the book acknowledgments, writing, Pete, I love you. Your bravery inspires me and your friendship means the world to me. So it looks like she's forgiven him. Arguably the highest profile relationship on our list was between Pete and Ariana, who dated and got engaged in a whirlwind romance lasting from May to October of 2018. Only a month after being spotted together, Pete debuted two Ari-inspired tattoos, including an AG on his hand and the dangerous woman bunny ears behind his ear. And then on June 15th, Pete broke the news that he and Ari were officially engaged, but the couple split just four months after that. Some things just aren't meant to last forever. They seem to have moved on amicably, with Ari famously referencing their relationship in her single, Thank You Next. Pete was next linked to Kate Beckinsale in 2019 after the pair were seen flirting at a Golden Globes after party. At the time, Pete was 25 and Kate was 45, and people seemed pretty shocked by the 20-year age gap. The couple confirmed their relationship after being caught kissing at a New York Rangers game that March. Later that month, Kate opened up about their relationship, telling the LA Times, I've never been in this position before, never dated anybody who comes with their own bag of mischief. She added, it's all quite shocking and something to get used to. I think if you liked the person less, you would bow out of it. If that were the main thrust of the relationship, there would be a problem, but it's not. But it looks like they did find some problems since they broke up soon after that interview. In August of 2019, Pete was rumored to be dating maid actress Margaret Qualley. They were photographed holding hands, and Margaret's mother, Andy McDowell, confirmed their relationship to People magazine. But by October, they went their separate ways. Kaya Gerber and Pete dated starting in November 2019 before splitting in January of 2020, with Pete revealing the reasons behind their breakup during an interview with Charlemagne the God. Oh, we were dating for a few months, uh, and you know, she's very young. And you know, I'm going through a lot, and I, I was before I was going to rehab, and like, you know, she has stuff going on. It's just like she should be having fun. And you know, she shouldn't have to worry about like some dude that just like has issues and shit. By March, Pete was dating Phoebe Denever with the pair making their first public appearance in July, kissing and cuddling in the stands during a Wimbledon match. However, they called it quits in August with a source telling British tabloid The Sun, quote, it was wild while it lasted and they both really care for each other, but the distance has put a strain on them. Their mates think they make a great couple, but the distance has made it completely unworkable. Kaylee Cuoco was also rumored to be dating Pete in September of this year after filing for divorce from her husband of three years. The two were seen having fun together on the set of their film Meet Cute, and Kaylee even posted a cuddly photo with Pete on Instagram. However, a source put those rumors to rest, telling E! News that Kaylee and Pete were just friends. And the latest celeb Pete has been linked to is none other than Kim Kardashian. Rumors of a romance were sparked when the pair was seen holding hands on a roller coaster while at Knott's Berry Farm. Plus, the duo was hanging with Travis Barker and his fiance Kourtney Kardashian, which kind of looked like a double date. Plus, Kim had just recently shared a kiss with Pete on an episode of Saturday Night Live. A source revealed to People, she's having fun and enjoying life. Her focus is still on her kids and work, but you can tell she's ready to date. She's very happy and in a good place. She's moved on from Kanye and feels it's for the best. Now, we don't know about you, but we cannot wait to see what happens next for these two. Are they just 
having fun as friends, or will they become the new Kravis of 2022? For more on Pete and his famous exes, click right over here for another clever video. And let me know in the comments what you think of his dating history and who you think he might end up with. For now, I'm your host, Carly Henderson. Find me on social media at carlyhenderson underscore, and I'll see you soon.